Um, hi dolls, um, today I decided I will make you a video about Dita Pontis makeup. So I'll briefly tell you what I've already applied to my face. First of all, this was a Sensai powder. This is called Triple Touch Compact in TC01 light. So I took this concealer and applied it under my eyes, on those red spots and everywhere. Then I mixed this uh, Cherie Ma Cherie um, makeup base. This one, this is really pearly and white, and I also mixed really light foundation, so I applied it to my skin. Then I took Isadora Oil Control Compact Powder in 66 Sheer Oyster. So, see, this is really light one. So finally, I'm taking powder. And now that I feel absolutely glammed up, I'm starting my makeup. First of all, I'm taking my MAC eyeshadow in rice paper. And I'll be applying this on my upper lid and under my brow bone. Next, I'm taking light, uh, really pinky eyeshadow, this one. This is by Christian Dior. Uh, this is go called Tempest. So this is uh, basically quite light pink. And I'm applying this on my upper lid. So most of people think that uh, Tita Von Tiste usually wears like white eyeshadow and maybe a little bit brown in a crease and black eyeliner and that's all. But actually I've seen her wearing this light pink and uh, grace and all stuff like this. So actually she really plays out with the makeup, which I really respect. And next we're taking white eyeshadow. This is next texture called 116 Wicked White. So basically any white eyeshadow. And I'm applying it under my brow bone. And a bit in the inner corner of my eye. Next, I'm taking medium brown. This is Clinique called um, O2 Like Mink Do Serenity. Just, you know, just any medium brown. And you apply it in a crease. So why I actually don't really like Clinic eyeshadow because this has really little pigments in this. So when you're going for that very natural look, like um, this is just your natural crease. So this is the look. So this actually looks like a shadow in a crease. So this looks really really natural. But yeah, you know I really always go for some drama and some dark browns so not one of my favorites but perfect for this look it's made for it but actually Dita contours really a lot her eyes like not every day but um, in most of photo shoots as I see she really contours this area and it still looks really natural next you are mixing two colors this medium grey so we're taking this blending brush medium grey eyeshadow this isadora called silver grey and then you're taking very dark brown so you're mixing this two together this is from H&M palette called Biscotti Dream and you're applying it right in a crease so like you're making shadows even deeper So this gives this natural and yet really defined look. So you're adding glamour without looking really overdone. You don't have this raccoon eyes. And still you have smoky eye. So this looks really classy. Then you're taking the same mix of eyeshadow and you're applying it on a lower line, lower lash line.
Thank you for taking white eye pencil. This essence called O4 White. And you apply it on the waterline. And right now I'm going shopping for the Dita Fun Juice line for Artico. So probably next week I'll be either reviewing it or making some more Dita makeup using this line. So this consists of some eyeshadow and red lipsticks and all this cute stuff. And my boyfriend is always like, oh no, another red lipstick, you have enough of that, Ugh. <laughs> Okay, then I take it. Uh, black eyeshadow and ankle brush. And you're applying just a little bit in the in outer corner of the lower lash line. Just a bit. Because you know, Dita always goes for liquid eyeliner on a upper lash line, but she keeps it really minimal on the lower lash line. So this is pretty much enough. Next, I'll apply a liquid eyeliner. This is Rimmel called 001 Black Glamour. This is probably my best and most favorite liquid eyeliner. This stays good all day. And this is really easy to apply. Even though this has this really dull brush, I find it really nice and easy to use. So when you draw a wing, you're putting this brush in the outer corner of your eye and like you're extending your um like lower lash line so you're going like this and you put your brush and you're extending the line um i think i really suck at explaining okay so then do the same with the other eye And I've heard Dita say for a um, few times that sometimes she can go out in the street without just, just um, a layer of mascara and red lips, red lipstick. So I think this is like a lesson for all of us. So you don't have to put like a ton of makeup to look glamorous and really put together. But I'm really working on this one because you, uh, as you see I usually put like lots of makeup on my face because um, I feel really unnatural and embarrassed without this. <laughs> so okay, now to the, ma uh, to the mascara. I'm taking Maybelline uh, Colossal Volume Express Waterproof because I'm gonna go skating right now and I don't want my, my mascara traveling all over my face. So I'm probably just applying uh, a little bit on the lower lash line. Because I've never seen Dita wear too much mascara on the lower lash line. Like so. And now for the upper uh, lash line, I have a really cute gadget for you guys. And this is Panasonic Lash Curler. This is a present from, from my boyfriend and this is like, it heats up, it has this little brush. It heats up and it curls lashes. So you're just putting it on uh, in the bottom of the lashes and then you bring it up and on the other side. I don't know if you guys can see the difference but really in real life this shows. So this is really nice and fun thing. And actually I have this uh, typical Asian straight little eye, uh, lashes so I really need a curl. <laughs> so this really helps. Now I'm taking I'm throwing my mirror away. <laughs> so I'm taking my mascara and the planet. And yeah, Dita always wears fake eyelashes for those events and photo shoots. But you know, I really hate fake eyelashes because I really suck at applying them. I mean, it's no big deal for applying them on somebody else. But when it comes to myself, I screw it every time. So. If you guys forgive me, I'm not gonna apply them. Maybe I'll practice during the week and I'll come back the next weekend with something better. So we'll see. And now for the lips. I'm taking a Rimmel lip liner in 024 Red Diva. So actually this is the only red lip liner that Rimmel has, so you won't mistake it. So you line your lips. Just a bit. 
and here's another tip I've heard from <laughs> from Dita. She always lines her lips with a lip liner. And actually, most of girls who wear red lipstick do it because this helps the red lipstick to stay in place and not like smudge. Okay, I'm done with this and now time for lipstick and this is Russian Red by MAC uh, because I read in Dito's Twitter that she is wearing um, Russian Red a lot. Mm, I'm just loving this red. So amazing, like really matte, classy lips. This is so cool. My boyfriend is green in the background because he hates it. Okay, so now we're taking um, a powder. This is Max Factor D Bash. So this is uh, much paler than powder I've applied. Let me show you. So the powder I'm having in my face is this one, and I'm taking this. This is a really darker one. Then I'm taking an angled brush and I'm contouring my cheekbones. So in contrast of many celebrities it is not wearing like bronzer for contouring. So her contouring is really subtle and really natural looking. And then I'm taking this brush and I'm applying the same dark powder along my nose so now that the nose looks a bit thinner uh, and now taking a pink blush this is Avon pink oh we're taking just <coughs> a bit so you're dusting all the excess and applying this on the apples of the cheeks. You know that uh, a classy pin up 50s look that DT is going for always requires like a, a thick layer of pink blush, but DT does wear it. She usually wears a really subtle pink, just a little bit of pink on her cheeks, so that doesn't look too much. I really appreciate this look much more, but this doesn't look too much. Because red lips, pink cheeks, this looks like a bit over the top. So this is the final look. Hope you guys like it and leave me comments and rate me and just um, maybe tell me what another celebrity makeup look you'd like to see me do. And this is it. Thank you so much for watching and bye.